alrighty, so just uh, chopping some wood for the fire. Kylie's gonna cook up us a feed. So just get this fire cranking and get some coals and stuff. Since we can't go anywhere with the um, virus and stuff that's happening at the moment, so can't go camping and decided to cook a camp meal outside for you guys. Let's see how she goes. Hey guys, welcome back to Camp Cooking with Kylie. Tonight we're not actually camping because we obviously can't, we're in isolation at the moment. It's driving me crazy. Um, so I said to Frankie, I was like, we need to make it feel like I am camping because otherwise I'm going to go insane. So. He went and caught from the co-op <laughs> some um, lovely red empire fish here. Hey guys, what's going on? So we've got some lovely fish, which we're gonna have with some chips, which are already on the go here. They've been boiling for about five or 10 minutes. We're also gonna have some garlic prawns. So they're like a little bit of an entree, which we'll do after we put the fish on, because the fish will take a little bit longer. So um, what I'm gonna do, is four incisions on each side of the flash so just cut it down deep just until you're hitting the bone like that and i've already done it on the other side there so you can see like that so what we've got to go into this is we've got some chili some kaffir limes some lemongrass coriander and some lime to drizzle on top as well as seasoning like salt and pepper so what I'm going to do with this first I'm just going to cut up some coriander so we're just going to chop this up and this is just going to go in the slits of the fish so I'm just going to season the skin first with some salt flip over and make sure you do the other side as well and we've got some pepper Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of the chili and the kaffir limes and the coriander and we're actually going to stuff that into the into the slits. You need to make sure with the lemongrass though that you put it on the top because lemongrass actually needs to cook whereas like your chili and stuff like that doesn't need to as much. So we're just going to grab some of this, shuck her in. Now obviously you can put as much chili as you want. We've got kids eating this so we can't put too much in. Chuck her in there like that. Oops. Coriander. Shove her in there. Alright, then grab your lemongrass and do the exact same on top. Alright, now we're just going to flip it and do the exact same thing on the other side. Alrighty, so now that it's done on both sides, this is what it will look like. A yummy, yummy. So this bad boy is now going to go sit on the fire. It's going to go on an open flame. So we've got like a, uh, just a little fire pit at home here at the moment, um, which is going, and we're going to sit that onto the flame so it can burn, uh, so it can cook. So we do 15 minutes each each side, and the fire like that. <laughs> So we're just going to leave it on this side for 15 minutes, come check on it, flip it over, do the other side for another 15 minutes. But in the meantime, I'm going to cook some mean prawns. Fish is on now. Um, it's been on there for a couple of minutes. So the potatoes I've been cooking for uh, about 15, 20 minutes. I've cut them up into just the small pieces and I've been parboiling them so they're nice and soft. So I've just drained them. So what you need to do, the secret to a good baked potato, sit down and listen, my friends. You want to coarse them a little bit. So I've got a colander here right now. And what I do is I just chuck them around a little bit just to roughen them up. Now I've got two tin foils here. These are really handy when you're going camping for roast and all that kind of stuff as well. So I've just got two of these. It's going to put half in one and half in the other they'll golden up a lot better if there's not so many in a pan 
just spread those out. So what I'm just going to put into these is some olive oil, um, some garlic, and some thyme and rosemary. So I'll just do that now. Some salt and pepper. Some garlic. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just going to put like a spoonful of garlic in each one and shake it over the potatoes. Stir that around. So that's all we're going to do for the potatoes tonight. Um, sometimes I also would put like some Italian mixed herbs and all that kind of stuff on it just to give it a little bit more flavour. Paprika is really nice as well. I've done that before. And what we're going to do with that now is I've got some foil. We're just going to put some foil over those to golden them up. Seal those up like that. And I reckon when we check this fish, I might get the potatoes out and just stir them around a little bit just so they're not burning and they can golden on the other sides as well. And then they will be ready when the fish is ready. I'm just going to pop the potatoes into the fire pit. Obviously when you're camping it'll be a lot easier because you'll have an open fire and you can use your coals a lot better. So yeah, this will be interesting but don't burn yourself. So what we've done, we've just separated one side and pulled the coals across. Got the fire going on the other side for the fish. So yeah, that's sizzling away already. Yum! <laughs> Alright, ready? I have to chop it in my phone. Alright, so now we're going to cut, um, cook the prawns. So we, for the prawns, what you need um, is about half a cup of melted butter, um, some wine, which we've got here, garlic, lemon, rosemary, and thyme. And you literally just chuck it all into a bowl. Um, and chuck her on the heat. So what we're going to do is we've got the prawns here. We pre-peeled those. Um, so you're just chucking those into a bowl. Um, then I've got half a cup of melted butter, which I melted before. We're going to put maybe like a tablespoon, a little bit more of garlic. Okay. So then we've got the rosemary. Just going to throw that in here too. Got some thyme. I'm just going to do the exact same thing as what I did with the rosemary. Just chuck that in there. You need about two tablespoons. So I'm just going to measure it like this. Then we're going to get some lime, I mean lemon. Just squeeze some lemon in there, some salt and pepper. Mix it up. So that's what it'll look like. All garlicky and whiny and yummy and delicious. Alright, so what we're going to put these in is the same as what we did our potatoes in. So the prawns need to steam a little bit. So we've got two dishes here. So you need to kind of single layer them down on the bottom of the tin. So I'm just going to chuck half of them in each. So we're just going to chuck some foil over those. Alrighty, so this is just going to go sitting on the fire next to the fish. These only take about 10 minutes to cook. So we'll put these on here now. Stop putting them on top of the coals if you can avoid it just because... You don't want to overcook them so they become rubbery. But there we go. Here's a little fishy. He's looking nice and yum. All right, so the fish has been on now for 15 minutes, so we're just going to flip it over. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Still looks yummy as. And because I'm the chef, I can steal this. Blow on it. And try it. Oh my god, that's so good. I'm such a good cook. I'm such a good cook. Mm, yum! That's so yummy. <laughs> Alright, so we've just flipped the fish. We've put the prawns on. I'm just going to check on these potatoes now because I don't want them to burn. I'm 
just gonna kind of like stir this around a little bit. So I've taken the potatoes out because I didn't want them to burn anymore because they'll burn a little bit on one side. The ones are done now, so I'm just gonna take these off. Alrighty, so we're just gonna get the fish off now as well. Mm. All right, so the prawns are out. That's like a little entree there. They look delicious. We've got the fish here. So what we're gonna do with the fish is just put a drizzle of fresh lime on it. There you have it guys. Fresh red empire with garlic butter prawns. Mm -mm -mm. Cheers to me. So now, let's try it. Truth comes out, let's see if it tastes any good. That is so good. I'm very impressed. That is so, it just falls away from the bone. Look at that. Yum. I'm gonna have a chip. Mm. So good. From. So good. You need to try this. Absolutely divine.